Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Home to dairy farms, Line and Kugel beer, and supercomputing. This is the Cray One. Built in 1976 in Chippewa Falls, it's been called the fastest computer on Earth, a masterpiece of engineering, and the world's most expensive love seat. Its blinding speed drove advances in science, industry, and defense. Labs fought to own the coveted Serial One model. But perhaps what it represents best in its genius, simplicity, and unique style is its legendary inventor, Seymour Cray. Born in Chippewa Falls in 1925, Cray spent his childhood experimenting with electronics. As a student at the University of Minnesota, he astonished engineering professors with his problem-solving abilities. He found the ideal place to launch his career in 1950, Engineering Research Associates. Cray was able to do what he did best, take a blank pad of paper and pencil, and figure out ways to coax more speed from a computer. Nobody could argue with his stellar results. Computing speeds 10 to 100 times faster than the competition. In 1958, Cray left ERA to join the fledgling Control Data Corporation, CDC. But feeling stifled by upper management, Cray convinced CDC to fund a lab in Chippewa Falls, 90 miles from corporate headquarters. He built a home on 65 acres for his family and put the CDC lab in his backyard. Cray's engineering staff, led by Les Davis, followed him to Chippewa. The saying was, what Seymour threw out the window, Les would catch. He really was the one that had the ideas. He pretty much pioneered how the modules should be built, and then he would pass that on to the engineers to get into development. Cray enjoyed sports and hobbies, some unusual, such as digging a tunnel beneath his home. He once joked that elves inspired him as he dug. But odd Seymour stories only enhanced his mystique as an eccentric genius. In his work, Cray insisted on several principles. Start fresh with each new project. Design simply using proven technologies. And work in small groups with a single decision maker. When work stalled due to clashes with upper management, Cray left and started over. After 10 years with CDC's Chippewa Lab, he launched Cray Research and began work on a new supercomputer. For three years, with millions of dollars in development costs and no product to sell, Cray Research struggled to survive. But when the Cray One was unveiled in 1976, it stunned the world. The unusual C-shape allowed shorter wires, minimizing signal delays. Freon cooling tubes removed the heat generated by the tightly packed circuits. The love seat hid the power supply. Cray's unique design made it the fastest computer in the world. And yes, customers could pick the color of the upholstery. Cray Research needed to sell a dozen to survive. They sold more than a hundred. Throughout his 45-year career, Cray's bold ideas secured his place at the forefront of the supercomputing industry. In 1996, at age 71, Cray had just begun designing a new computer when, driving down Colorado Interstate 25, his Jeep was clipped by another car and rolled three times. He died three days later. When Seymour Cray lost his life, 
the computer industry lost one of its brightest stars. Engineers lost a hero. Chippewa Falls lost a treasured son. But Cray's legacy as the father of supercomputing lives on. His brilliant innovation and unswerving commitment defined the era of supercomputers. I could have never thought that I'd had an opportunity like that, but uh, <clears throat> even as uh, some of us get together nowadays and we talk about it, we said, boy, those were really great days, weren't they? <laughs>